Hi there, I'm author and freelance writer Melissa May Younger, and I'm going to talk to you about the differences between self-publishing and traditional publishing and help you to figure out which one might be the right choice for you and your book right now based on your goals. And I did another video on this and that covered the financial aspect of things. So you should check that out if your question is which one will help me to make more money. And in today's video, we're going to talk about a few things. The first one is, can you become famous as an author or can you become a voice in your field as an independent publisher? So can you do this by self-publishing? Yes, you can. Can you do this by the traditional publishing route? Yes, you can. But it depends on how confident you are in your marketing ability. So you can always hire a marketer to help you with this, uh, but traditional publishers, the benefit of them is that they already have connections and they, can, they already know how to reach people. Okay, but either way, what you're going to want to do is build up a following first. Before you publish your book, it's going to be really hard to make sales when you only have three followers and you're trying to advertise. Okay, and social media today, it's a free way to advertise, but let me tell you, it is very competitive. Those algorithms are tough to deal with, tough to crack. So it's better if you can kind of figure that stuff out before your book release, if you can somehow create a following and then make sure that that following are people who would want to buy your book. And then you can have a ready-made audience to market to. Okay. Um, now, if you just want to put your voice out there, you might not have to do traditional or self-publishing because you could just publish your writing for free on a blog, um, or you can submit to a online journal. And if you're just trying to be heard, then you need to ask yourself, who do you want to see or hear your work and how can you best reach them? Then you also need to ask yourself how much you're willing to invest financially in just being heard. Uh, then you also need to ask if you need a actual print copy of your work, if that's what will satisfy you, or would you rather have an audiobook or a Kindle? If your goal is to help others through your writing, you should think about how best to reach your audience and those you are trying to help. For example, if you're writing a book about gardening, and you want to help other gardeners because you have these amazing gardening secrets you have to share with the world, okay, then you're going to want to put that in a way that they can understand exactly what you're talking about. Uh, you want to think, are you writing for beginners? Are you writing for those who have been gardening for a long time? And these are just kind of extra special gardening secrets that they can add on top of all the other knowledge they have. Uh, so all of that is going to help you to decide not only what shape your book is going to take, but also um, how you're going to try to reach that crowd. You start up a blog and you start attracting a lot of new gardeners who have no idea about how to garden then you don't want to write this super advanced book and market it to them because they're gonna be really confused. It's gonna be way over their head. So you're going to have to learn how to break that down into really simple steps and explain things to them. And, and also you need to maybe get some feedback for, from your audience and figure out you know, what do they really wanna know about gardening? because you could be telling them how to grow um, asparagus and you could have like a whole, like three whole chapters to it dedicated to asparagus and they don't care about asparagus. They want to grow tomatoes. Um, other questions you might want to consider when you're comparing traditional and uh, self-publishing. Do you want to have creative control over your work? If you do, I would suggest that self-publishing 
is the best route for you because you're more in the driver's seat and you can decide how your book turns out. You can decide what the book cover is going to look like. You can decide what the content is, what the message is. Uh, you can make calls on the editing. You know, if you hire an editor, you can decide whether you want to take their feedback or not. Now with traditional publishing, the publishing company is going to make all those decisions. And when they tell you, you need to make edits to your book, generally speaking, you need to make those edits to your book. Okay. There might be like a little leeway there, but they're the ones making those decisions because it's their money at stake. And so they're going to decide on the book cover, um, on the formatting, on uh, the content, and all of that is going to be based on what they think will sell well, what will grab readers, what will keep readers, um, those sorts of things. So they're not con as concerned with communicating exactly what is your vision in your mind. If you're, if you're an intense kind of visionary person that you want things to be a certain way, then you probably do want to go more of the self-publishing route. On the other hand, if you say, I just don't have time, I don't have time to make sure that the book is exactly how I want it. I'm okay with somebody else you know, taking over that aspect. In fact, that would relieve me because then I don't have to figure out all that stuff. Then you might want to go more of the traditional pub publishing route. Okay, so those are just some things that you'll wanna think about when uh, you are considering which route to take. In my next videos, I'm going to go through the steps for each one. So I'll go through what steps you need to take to become your own self-published author. And then I'm going to go through the steps you need to take if you want to go the traditional publishing route. So I hope that that information is helpful to you. If it is, uh, leave a comment below to let me know. Um, also, if you have other questions, please comment below and let me know um, what your other questions about self-publishing and traditional publishing are. I would love to answer those.